Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I know I've been sick a lot so I couldn't make a video sooner and I really wanted to make a voiceover for this one even though I filmed this tutorial for a while ago but yeah, I'm here now. <laughs> so for these nails is these things. This is the Ultra Bond Primer, cuticle oil. This is the foil. I made kind of like light white milky kind of gel nails with the silver foil and um, this is the top gel that I use premium high gloss sealing gel um, it's two coats of this one one coat of this one one face rose clear gel and then I built the nails with this one one face rose it's not really rose it says that it's rose but when I apply this and cure it's kind of get white milky ish You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I'll show you in the video. And this is the sanitizing spray that I cleanse the nails with. So this is what I use. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I did the nails, just keep watching. So after prepping the nails, I cleanse them with my sanitizing spray and wipe them off with any paper towel that you have. Make sure the nails are all clean and dust free before applying any product. We want them to be really clean. And after I cleanse them, I apply my primer. This is the one that dries by air. I really like this primer. This girl has some problems with lifting and this primer just does the job. I only have to put one layer too. So it's really good. And <clears throat> for starters, I put this gel that is Rose Clear One Face Gel. I, I really like to start with a warm face gel because it, ha it has this primer inbuilt so it gives a really strong base to the nails, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so they're really strong and they really don't lift at all. Um, so yeah, this gel is magical. I cure it for 2 minutes and then I go on to this rose gel that isn't rose at all. I don't know why they call this a rose gel <laughs> and I don't know where this pink color goes when I cure them, they kind of disappear. Um, but yeah, I'll, see what I, I'll show you what I mean soon. Just cure them in two minutes. Now that the nails are cured, you can kind of see what I mean. They're not pink at all, they kind of see through white-ish and they get lighter and lighter every layer that you put on. I will put on some few layers because we want them to be really light and match the silver foil. So I'm just brushing on the layers one by one and curing them for two minutes. So now on to the nail foil. Um, I just apply a thin layer of this one face rose clear gel to adhere the foil to and yeah it works really well. Apply just a really thin layer on the nail so you want the foil to be on. So for this step you'll really need some tweezers or something small to pick the foil up with and you just pick up some pieces, whatever size you want and just put them on the nail wherever you want them to be. We wanted to cover the nail as much as we could so we just picked up some pieces and put them all over the nails.
securing the nails, we just apply one more layer of this rose gel to make the nails as light as possible. We really want them light and fresh to even match the silver foil because it's kind of difficult to match something silver without the silver color. But we will try to make them as light as possible. So cure that for two minutes and go ahead and apply another layer. If you have a design like me or with glitter or foils, you always want to cap your design with a clear gel. So I'll be using my One Face Rose Clear to cap everything. So yeah, this color is really not pink. It looks pink in the bottle, but it's really clear in person or when you apply it to the nails. Maybe it's because we put on a smaller amount of gel and with a larger amount it looks pink. I don't know. But yeah, cap everything. Make sure to really everywhere because it can be a bit difficult to feel the side walls and other chemicals because you don't want to touch the skin but be really careful and just try to cap everything Applying my last layer, you don't have to apply this layer, I'm just doing it because I rather have two thick nails and then file them into perfection than have a really small amount of gel. So we just apply really thin layers on all of the nails, and I use the clear one on the foiled nails, of course. Now that all the nails are done, we just cleanse them with my sanitizing spray. You can cleanse with whatever alcohol you got, but this is my cleansing spray. Um, and also sanitizing spray, but whatever. <laughs> so when the nails are all clean, we can go ahead and file the shape. I like to have my shape as thin as possible at the cuticle area and at the tip area, and then in between I just make it pretty. <laughs> I don't know how to explain but yeah we all have our ways of filing the nails. This is my way. Um, yeah I take a really long time filing because I really like when the shape is perfect that is really important to me. Right now I'm using a 100 and 180 grit file. I'm using the softest side because since this is gel we don't need to use the coarse side of the file because it's really easy to perfect and shape the nails. I forgot to show you guys but I did buff the nails after filing them because we wanted a smooth surface to apply the top gel on. Now that the nails are all filed and buffed, I clean them once again with my sanitizing spray to remove all dust that is remaining. And I don't know why, but I like to apply this primer all over again at the cuticle area. I feel like that makes um, <clears throat> the top gel like non-lifting, you know. I don't know how to explain, but it kind of works for me or... I've always done this and I've never had any problems with lifting, so yeah. Maybe I'm just crazy, but that's my way. So, and this is the top gel that I use. I use two layers of this one because I feel like they aren't really that shiny with one layer. And now 
we cleanse the nails once and for all and they are so pretty I really like this light colored natural design it's really simple to do as you saw <laughs> you should really try it out and of course we cannot forget the cuticle oil this is really important to moisture the nails because we really when we cleanse the nails we remove all the oils and the nails and fingers get really dry so don't forget the cuticle oil and yeah i hope you guys like this video this is what the nails look like we are really happy with them and the foil is great <laughs> so if you like my videos then please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye